Hey everybody, this is Johnny Wild from the band Blindside Thunder and uh, I put out some stuff on Instagram and uh, getting the band back grooving and a lot of people said, wow, um, can Johnny do some other stuff? Well, we're going to do some other stuff, okay? First off, we're going to do some lessons. We're going to learn some scales and we're going to learn how to do some easy guitar. Sound cool and not be really complicated at all because I don't play anything complicated. So. Marshall, Les Paul Custom, okay? Guys, if you're looking, if you're looking for progressive, I can play it, but it ain't my cup of tea. So, if you're looking to learn sweeps, I'll show you how to sweep a floor. That's about all you're gonna get, okay? I might throw something in there to show you a technique, um, but other than that, we probably won't hit on it. But I want to show you is that though it could be a master class or a guitar lesson, um, guys, simple shit, man. Simple stuff, man. Uh, real simple. Here, you know, um, just open it up. Two strings. <laughs> before we get going is we're going to tune up, okay? And basically we got E, A, D, G, B, and E. Guys, blind stand on your music is generally in standard tuning, with the exception when we play live. When we play live, we always go a full step down, go with the open D, only because it sounds bigger, badder, and nastier. And probably, we'll probably do that from here on out when we do the next album. A uh, Hundred Proof is, the full album is in D. So, just to give you a little bit of, tidbit of information, you know, um, guys, got any questions? Send them to me. I'll do the best I can with it, but I'm not a virtuoso. There are so many other great players, and I know that there's a guitar, guitar world, guitar player, guitar this, guitar that. There's shred players that are watching this now they are going, my God, this guy's a joke. You're right. I'm a complete freaking joke, but being the godfather of rebel rock, when I could go out and play in front of 10,000 people and everybody's getting freaky freaky, I'd rather do that than sweep. Not saying it's not cool, not saying you can't play technical or you can play um, harmonic Myers or anything like that. Ingbe, I love him, I just saw him in Clearwater last month. But my guys are like Zach Wilde guys, um, Angus Young guys. Um, Ted Nugent is huge uh, to me. Um, but that being said, I like all kinds of music and you should too. So when you start on this journey to become some kind of guitar player, um, listen to everything. I mean, Linda Ronstadt, all the way to Ingve, to Country, um, Jason Aldean, all those guys. There's, a, there's something you can learn, whether it be song structure, whether uh, technique, it could be anything. But what we're going to do, and it's going to be really quick, is we're going to start off with a simple pentatonic scale. And we're going to do it right out of uh, E minor. And Basically the pattern, and everybody's already heard this. Basically it's one, four, or excuse me, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Now, guys, I don't care how you play it because nobody out there that's gonna come and watch you cares how you play it. If you play it with an upstroke, a downstroke, alternate picking, starting with the up. Guys, it does not matter. It does matter, however, how you want to finish. Example, if you're doing a scale and you want to really hit some meat on that, you always want to try to finish on the downstroke, especially if you're going to want to hit the harmonic like Zach does. You want to always hit the downstroke. Now, unfortunately, not warming up or anything. It's kind of crazy, but simple enough, guys. Let's walk through it. Starting on the 12th fret, one finger, four steps. Guys, 
that's simple enough, all right? Simple. Take it nice and easy. As you can see, I love using my third finger. When I get up into here and I have to do a larger spacing, I will always use my pinky. But when I get down here, especially on the Les Paul, I like to bracket my thumb back here on the heel piece, okay? And other guitars that I have, sometimes the heel piece is cut out. But for the Les Paul, this is a big piece of beef here, buddy. I mean, this is like almost 10 pounds of nothing but mahogany. God, I love this guitar. However, this is what makes the sound. Some people are going to argue and say, well, if you have the right amp, or you have the right pedals, or you have the right wood, or it's the thickness. No, you can have weight relief. Guys, as long as it sounds good, I don't really care. If you like it, then play it. If you don't like it, buy another one. There are so many salespeople out there and everybody's gonna tell you certain things about gear, about technique. Guys, you can go onto YouTube and you can find 50 freaking different people teaching the exact same thing that I just taught you. Very simple. That little scale is in every single piece of music to some degree or another, All right? Well, that's the way it is, that's the way it's played. So how do I incorporate it? Well, I'm not a guy who writes out solos. There are people who will write out the solos and understand they hit the octave and they're bouncing and they're doing whatever. Great, love you, that ain't me. I'm a kind of a guy that when we go in the studio and let's say we're done with it, and if you've got the storm and you wanna to listen to a good, you wanna to listen to a one take solo, listen to the outro solo of We Love the Party. We had already done most of the album and it was the last solo I think I had to put in. I grabbed this, I did that with a chord, no pedal, I did it one take, and I just played. And the one thing you have to get used to when you're in the studio is you're gonna have to play in front of other people, all right? It takes time. You gotta let it go, all right? You gotta let it go for this. I'm a grip it and rip it guy. I am, guys, man, if I hear a beat, <laughs> guy I, I you know what it could be junk the technique could be totally off you're probably right but when you put it in the context with a song everything comes to life guys see yourself playing it in front of a hundred people two hundred people three hundred people a thousand people ten thousand people and everything will work so to use that simple technique that I just showed you right here <laughs> do it once a week where I can sit down and do something simple like this real simple so that we can all gain from it and you guys can start playing as soon as possible all right now we might go over chords next time just simple chords we might add this into something else but guys if you want to rock man dude all you got to do is just grab something and <laughs> Johnny Wild, Blindside Thunder. Keep practicing, crank it up.